Why is he on the roof? That's a very good question, and I'm sure he is about to answer exactly that question. But first, Eric. Let's go. How you going? You know what's always annoyed me about being Australian, and everyone around the world keeps making fun of us for it. That we don't have the ability to shoot fast projectiles out of a moving vehicle. Yep, that is. But today I finally can. Exactly what they what they make fun of. Asked me to make this expo from the game that can shoot a two kilo arrow over six hundred feet, all while moving on top of my car. Did you hear that sound? Two kilo arrow over six hundred feet, all while moving. On Was it an incident sound, or is that the sound of the freaking arrow? The game that can shoot a two kilo arrow over six hundred oh. feet, all while moving on top oh. of my car. What the? All right, it turns out I'm not the first to do a sponsorship for Clash of Clans. And ancient civilizations like the Romans and French copied their expos from the game and made them out of wood <laughs> using primitive technology. But they had a funny way of pronouncing expos. They called them bli blisters. And I was going to copy their blisters. designs, but as far as I can tell, they were really, really tiny. And I want something bigger and more impressive. Also, I've decided I'm not going to copy anything about their designs, as the Romans were all idiots. And I've got something they didn't. <laughs> Access to spear fishing stores that stock overpowered rubber bands made in factories in Shenzhen. The Romans did, <laughs> however, have access to beads and massive parties, which I don't. So we'll find out if that affects its performance. So this is the plan. The rubbers will run no along way, the side of bro. the square tube, and I'll have some bearings on the front. How which the strong are those rubbers, over, bro? And then get pulled to the back with a winch, which has a quick release, which I made in my last video. Now, the point of these bearings on the front is that if I just had the rubbers tied to the front of the expo, mm -hmm. they would only start providing pull force to the arrow here. But with the mm -hmm. bearings, you can pre-tension the rubbers and allow them to speed up the arrow until the very end of the muzzle. So we should get more power, oh, but I also don't know. Okay. So the first thing I did was turn down this big block of aluminium in the lathe and cut it into these housings for the bearings, which are less comfortable than the houses they are used to living in, but now the bearings <laughs> nicely fit the rubbers. Then I just put them onto the side of the rail. Next, I attached the winch on the back, and I went for a hand God, geez, as it feels imagine more being so knowledgeable. Accurate. And I like the noise it makes and being able to feel the tension of the rubbers getting harder and harder to pull back. And the suspense oh no. of each click bringing me closer to the rubbers snapping and taking out my eye. Oh. Which I just wouldn't get with an electric winch. What the heck? And the suspense of each click bringing me closer to the rubbers snapping and taking out my eye. Which Jesus. I just wouldn't get with an electric winch. Yeah, and I wouldn't want to have. That the frame is already oh. painted, and you haven't actually seen me weld anything together or make anything. I'm just re welding over welds. And you know, oh. in that previous shot yeah, that, of me turning down safe. the housing for the bearings in the lathe, yeah, that was a lie safe. as well. And it was actually just, just a can the of beans in my lathe. Infinite welding. And I just lied to you again. It wasn't even beans, it was actually a can of tomatoes. But why <gasps> do I keep lying to you? And you might be thinking I'm doing Cancelled. this because I don't want to show How you the horrible conditions he lies to us. What that the, heck? the three children that actually made this frame work. How is he still alive? It it's because making okay. stuff like... Apart from how is he still alive, how does he still have ten fingers, two eyes, his ears are intact, his toes are all there, the fingernails are all there. Okay, well, partially. that The fingernails, like, this is maybe the only... How the fuck... How does he have all of his limbs, fingers, eyes, ears, nose, face, teeth? How? Like this always takes so long and is relatively boring. So my mate and I actually made it all of this and just didn't record it. <laughs> and now in an attempt to make this yep, whole that also longer, seems longer, show the process on camera, I'm just doing He's extra Australian. unnecessary work. That's so why next I just pretended to do different. some more welds. And now comes the really hard part, where I need to pretend to make the whole bottom half of my frame that attaches to my car, which my mate <laughs> Rowan already made. And now it's done. Well, functionally, <laughs> it needs to look more like the expo from Clash of Clans. But first, I really wanted to do some test shots to find out if this even works in my yard, in the middle of a populated suburban city. And for anyone that's about to write a comment, getting angry at me that I'm testing a ballista in a populated area, let me just remind you that I have a ballista that may or may not work. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we decided to test it first with one rubber. And before you get angry, just, remi- just remember it. But first, I to build up even more suspense, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the sponsor of the video, Clash of Clans, and the ongoing event, Yay, Clash you for sponsor. Nature. Clash of Clans is a super fun strategy game Parties. where you build defences, upgrade your base, and attack other I players. I played so and much since Clash, since I I'm in the event, everyone Holy has been shit. raiding my base And then non-stop. from one day to another, I just didn't lock in anymore. I keep losing. I don't know why. Raining. I Clash of Clans from one day to another, it was too Clash much. for Nature, which is almost reaching the I end, played and we'll be so having a significant much. update like, coming up. After our right sponsor, after I played every day for like the for next Nature, half a teams. year or so. The charity is Team Trees or Team Seas, and if you see my last video, you know I'm on <laughs> Before Team I get Trees. Angry All your about the the event event may I remind you, I have the weapon. Any of you can join the event right now, even if you haven't played Clash of Clans before. You just scan my QR code. I'm in the stream too. Dude, the game is unironically super fun. But I think I burn place. out from Whichever playing all day, every day for like half a year a after my sponsor. And I'm currently ranked fourth in the Clash for <laughs> and Nature And I spend event. a little bit win, of money of on there too. So, also, uh, I just want to stop yeah. Papa Plate from winning. So, go download Clash of Clans now. Okay, back to the test of the expo with one rubber. Yeah, I did some cool updates recently. Yeah, I should, I should look into it. Are the Wompers still going strong? No way. Even after I abandoned. Ready? Three, two, one. That okay. sucks. That was that a was lot very less impressive. So we put on another I rubber thought. and yeah. I also forgot how to do countdowns. Jesus. He has to work that bit. Three, Oh, that was a lot more scary. And that looked significantly quicker. The Wampers hold the line? Dude, you guys are crazy. What the, the heck? Rubber. So we put that on and also attempted to shoot it through the chronograph so we can get some speed readings and then compare it to the Romans. And we can also compare it to the speed of the Expo and Clash of Clans, which looks like it's going very fast. Don't put it. Oh, that friend is brave for just going there. And that was way slower than I was expecting. The maximum speed we got was 22 meters a second. And apparently the Roman ballistas could shoot a 400 gram bolt at 90 meters a second. The bolt that we're shooting weighs two kilos though. So I cut it down so it weighed 400 grams and gave it another go, which might make it five times faster. I mean, yeah, that should work a lot. A two kilo freaking... Oh boy. <gasps> Where is my it? first shot was 36 meters a second, but I think I know how to make it faster. You know what I said earlier about Romans having an advantage because they have beards and engage in other activities? So I thought my <laughs> mate Rowan should have a shot. <laughs> he won't make it work. He's got the beard. Put your down. Thank you. And Rowan's was suspiciously faster than my shot at 38 meters or 130 feet per second. And that's not 90 meters a second fast like the Romans, but it's still pretty good considering the Jesus. Roman ballistas that achieved those it's speeds the beard had buff. a draw weight of 5,000 pounds. He's got the while Roman our passive. Expo's draw weight is only around 500 pounds. Don't ask me how that's possible. I really don't know. But then I realized something. How did the if Romans If you roll know a Roman, you, you, got, you got the racial passive. They didn't passive. have chronographs or Gavin from the slow-mo guys. So I think all the Romans were lying, and the same with the French, especially the French. Okay, now it's time to make this look like the level 10 expo from Clash of Clans, which we did <laughs> by covering it in foam. And this may surprise some of you because you're stupid, but these limbs here don't do anything. Neither does this foam on the front or this aesthetic <laughs> string. Oh. Sorry, that does. Uh, but now you're probably looking at this seems and thinking, to be functional. Alex, yeah. which is my name, this looks a bit like the level 10 expo from Clash of Clans, <laughs> but how is it going to shoot magical bolts and auto lock onto targets and then auto reload like in the game? Well, it's not. That wasn't in my budget and also that's impossible. And you were just going to have to play the game to see that happen. <laughs> it will hopefully still shoot and look really cool though. Okay, I think my neighbors are preparing for siege warfare, so it's time to take it out to Hamilton's farm and do some real tests. 
Also, this is obvious, but anyone watching, powerful. especially people yes, living yes. in Syracuse in the 4th century BC, don't put an expo on your car or try any of this at home. <laughs> and we're going to do a couple of different tests, like a penetration test on this car door I that I stole one. from an undercover cop car, and also shoot this historically accurate Spartan suit of armor. Oh. Dad, look away, look away, This Dad, armor is a good test, look. as in the game, the expo can be used Dad, against Dad, troops like a Pekka, this giant guy in a suit of armor. I love Then we'll Pekka. have a distance test and an accuracy test, and then finally a drive-by test. And whoever gets the most points wins something. I have Pekka decided. and dragons are uh, my favorite Ron, units to use. I love them so much. Test first? Yeah, that's See distance? Yeah. Okay. It's a good way to lose a bolt. Yeah, but then at least... And then we only have to shoot two. Yeah. It's perfect. It's, it's great. And also, if we do a destruction test first, we might up the bolts. Yeah. We might destroy them. Okay. Um, I was going to say we can have a competition, but it won't really be a competition because it's just going to be who can wind it back the furthest and tilt it at the lowest angle. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, first I wanted to know how far it can shoot. So we loaded up okay. the small bolt to do a distance test. Oh, I'm pretty... Oh, face shield. That's what I... Forgot. I almost brought some fencing helmet. Maybe oh, I should yes, I forgot I my safety see. equipment. No, you put it on. no, I'm not putting it on. <gasps> he has shoes on, no way! Finally, I see his it. toes covered. Jesus, that sound, bro. That was pretty good. Pshaw. That was pretty good. The fletching was Pshaw. weird. And that acted really weirdly in the air with the duct tape fletching that I put on. And also one of the rubbers snapped. But even with that, it went over 120 meters or 300 feet. So we put on another rubber and took off the fletching and tried again. And I thought that flew a similar distance, but it turns out it flew a lot further at around 160 meters or 520 Let's go. feet. But that was measured by my steps and I am slightly biased. And also the <laughs> steepest angle I could get the expo to was like 15 degrees because of how I attached it to the car. So if it was at 45 degrees, the bolt would go much further. So now we're gonna try the expo up against some targets and see what it does. And Rowan was up first. He's got the beard. Oh. Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> yeah, it's comfy up here. Let's see our point system we're going for here. What's oh, worth the most? Yeah. So there's three of us shooting. Yeah. I think if you pierce the armor, you get three points. Yeah. If you just pierce a mannequin, you get one point. If oh, you yeah. miss, you get minus one. And the you get minus. two card or four. Okay. So you can just choose. What were those points again? Four points again. Don't ask me that. Don't ask me that. They no, can't hear <laughs> me if you aim it down at me right system. now, right? Huh? What are you aiming for? Next like card oh, vehicle. Door. He's going for the door. Yeah, he's a four pointer. Or well, maybe I want the Roman. I don't know. There it is. I have no idea. Three, two, one. Oh? <gasps> Between the legs? Where did he go? Oh, I missed. And he didn't account for the drop of the heavy bolts and shot low in between their legs. So oh, he's on zero points. It hit the and floor next was first. Alexa. Can you open this door? My lady. <laughs> Miss, uh... <laughs> yes! That's exactly what I wanted. This feels amazing. Yeah. This feels so good. It feels so good. Oh. And I feel awesome. They gotta account for the yeah, yeah, arrow yeah. drop. How did I'll he not record. know? I feel so powerful right now. I'm gonna go record on this guy. Don't. What are you going for? Uh, oh. I think Alex. <laughs> I think oh, Alex. Oh, wait, oh, I'm Alex. Oh. Three, two, one. <gasps> she, she didn't Shout see! Him. No, Chad! Oh, I double clicked. I, I blocked it! Wait! I thought 
thought they were gonna have a different camera angle. Look! Yo, no, you go, you can go more. 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 Look, 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 look. I'm ducking. Let me be clear. <laughs> what does that count as? What the f I took his pants off. <laughs> he took his pants! <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. He took his pants and off. And somehow, Alexa took the guy's pants off. And I don't even know how many points that is worth. Probably <laughs> nine. And now it was my turn. And I was feeling the pressure to hit something. What angle were you shooting the ballista at? Don't tell him now. Yeah, I'm not telling. You work it out. Telling. You built the thing. I'm not telling. I don't know what I'm aiming for. Oh. It's okay. Still got it. Oh, what's that sound? Oh, this Springs. Okay. Can you go further? Uh. Can you go further? Without nice. any... Sorry. You're sabotaging me, Roland. Oh, what? Did you lock Safety it in? Safety gear. <laughs> Zero, minus one. Mi <laughs> You're sabotaging me, Roland. Oh, what? Did you lock it in? <laughs> nice. Zero, minus one, minus one. And two of the rubbers broke, little... and it didn't go very far, so I was on minus one. Okay, Just so after little... Rowan and I spent an hour retying all the rubbers, we moved the car closer and had another shot. Okay, I'll go for man. No, I'll go for the car door. No, I'll go for man. He's trying his best. Three, two, one. Yay! Whoa! Wait, no! He actually hit that. No Three, way. Two. One. Yay! Whoa. His arm fell off. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! What? It, did, it bounced it did, as well. It that was so off. scary. <laughs> yeah. It just flew. Yeah, that was gonna. That's gonna destroy it your windscreen if it flies off. So far. And that bolt hit sideways and bounced off. And this is all very hard. I'm starting to think that expos and ballistas aren't the best siege weapons, or I'm just horrible <laughs> at making things. And unlike the game where the expo automatically locks onto enemies, we were having trouble hitting anything. So I moved the car a little bit closer. <laughs> a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Took aim at the Spartan guy. <laughs> Just a tiny bit closer. Count us down. Three. Two. One. Yeah, the bounce. Oh! Oh! oh. In the heart. Straight through. Finally. Mate, um, Alex, amazing aim. Incredible. This is all we had to How'd do. You from that bounce. Well, I know. Incredible. Right he in did heart. it. Oh my god. He's a real Roman yeah. now. Yeah, no touching. I would. Did you aim for his heart? Uh, kind of. And that was pretty impressive damage. It only stopped because the bolt got wider and it almost went all the way through. Broadhead in Holy damage. shit. It'll absolutely go through that one. <laughs> Poor guy. So that was Hamilton's a plastic mate one. had a shot at the car door. I didn't know it was actual one, armor. One. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, three. Two. One. Woo! Did you get it? It went in. It didn't get stuck, did it? Maybe. Oh, whoa. No. What? Wait, is it Holy through? <gasps> Dude, that sliced through so easily. It did like get a, through. Look at that. The way oh, it just like a, peeled it up. Peeled it like sides? a can. No, just one. Oh, it must have hit this and then pushed, yeah. pushed up. Yo. And now it's Hamilton's turn to shoot the Santa guy. Santa guy. Yep, glad I'm on a car door. Um. Oh! It got st- oh, Holy boy. Wait, was that the <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh my god, in the heart again? <laughs> oh no. He's got a spear sticking out. Oh, <laughs> <dog. Yeah. laughs> Yo! Okay, now we know that the bolt would do some serious damage, but we still don't know how easy it, it is to use hurry. while driving. So I tried that. Yep. Yep. Whenever you're ready. Christmas is cancelled, boys. Yeah, Pack up. Next to them. I won't point it at you, boys. He killed Santa. Thank no you. more quimmies. <laughs> yeah, go slowly next to them. Pack it up. Pack it, t tear down the Christmas decoration. Un Christmas fire your bucket. You no more bougie Christmas bucket. Quimmies is over. <laughs> oh, 
And that was ridiculously hard to aim, so I tried again. No quimmies. And we couldn't find the bolt in the long grass, so we formed a search and rescue line. And besides finding <laughs> a body that Hamilton had buried on his farm earlier, we couldn't what? find the bolt. Excuse you, what? <laughs> Sorry, luckily, what? on the way back, Alexa stepped on it, which is great, as now Hamilton won't die while mowing his lawn. Okay, we were getting pretty bored and sunburnt, so we told Wait, ourselves that this is the, the last oh attempt. Oh my... How? It was in the ground. <laughs> Thank you, Dark. Fertilizer. Um, yeah. Oh, the music. This is it. This is the one. Here we go. Get him, Alex. Yeah! <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh, I almost covered that. Oh, wait, I don't need to keep driving. <laughs> And that was extremely fun to shoot and did some hey, great yo. damage. And as for which one of us wins my made up competition, probably Alexa for taking the guy's pants off. And there you go. I think I did a pretty good job of replicating that expo from Clash of Clans. And mine actually had enough power to even take down armored troops from the game. So go download <laughs> Clash of Clans right so now and scan my QR code and join the event to not only plant trees, but also potentially win a Tesla and other prizes. And considering I'm number four right now, we are pretty close. Add, also a hot tip for new existing add. players, you should get the builder package Dude, for your town. It's annoying because the I thought, quickly in the I, re I, thought I remember being able to disable apps so on Twitch watching. fully like to that, only have pre-roll ads.